Well, Professor, I was just saying to Mrs. Stone that I have a feeling that television is destroying our culture. Don't you agree? Destroying our culture? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, I don't know that I'd say that. It's influencing our culture, certainly. Oh, no doubt about that. Changing it or accelerating the change, perhaps? My feeling exactly. Actually, attacking television is like attacking Gutenberg. You can't hold Gutenberg responsible for everything that appears in print. <laughs> I feel Professor Peabody's right. After all, there are good books and bad. Yes, but at least they're books. <laughs> oh, Christopher, dear. This is our son, Christopher. Hello. Hello, Chris. Hello, Chris. You may read for half an hour, dear, then turn out your light. Thank you, Mother. Christopher's reading David Copperfield. It's by Charles Dickens, you know. You might be interested to know that we've started a discussion group here in town. Miss Pennington here is our moderator. Oh, well, the moderator just sits, you know, and lets everybody else do the talking. <laughs> I think it would be a very good idea for you and Dr. Stone to join our group. Oh, well, I th think it would be uh, a good... Well, we, we, we don't have much time, actually. <laughs> well, one has to make time. After all, people find time for television and movies. Hey, uh, speaking of television... Oh, you, uh, you don't have one. Moran won by a knockout. We heard it in the car coming over. What round? Fourth. Now, uh, getting back to Tolstoy, Professor. Oh, where have you been? I'm stuck. Hey, what have you got? Presents. Well, let me see. Presents. Let me see. Have Come on. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. I want to know where they're going. Yeah. 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 for me. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. One of them is for Daddy. Oh, I'll go get him. It's Daddy. Hey, Dad. Mom, Mom, she's got a present Come for you. Let which me see. Which one's for me? Oh, which one? 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 Now, uh, this one, this is for Jeff. Gee, this is great. It's not even my birthday, and, and it's not Christmas. I'll bet it's a... A book! Oh, wait till you see. <laughs> David Copperfield. Why? Why not? I mean, this is a wonderful book. I, I just loved it when I was a child. It's long, isn't it? Well, it, it, it's about this little boy, David Copperfield. He lived with these people, and well, it's a fascinating book. Thanks, Mom. Aren't you going to read it? Well, yeah, but now I'm going to watch television. <laughs> you missed the point. This is to read instead of watching television. Oh, but, Mom, the show just... No. Please give it a try. Look, I have an idea. Why don't you go upstairs and close your door so you can concentrate? We can't do it with all this racket going on. <laughs> Fortunately, there are some people around here who still like to read. Come on, Jeff. Honestly, I don't know what's the matter with everybody around here. They buy you a present and then they hit you on the head with it. <laughs> Alex, I try. I... Darling, maybe you're trying too hard. What do you mean? Well, I, I don't think you can cram culture down their throats. Kids learn only what they want to learn. The best way to teach them is by example. Well, honey, that's exactly what I had in mind. Oh, open your present. Quick, open it. Or a piece. We can just allow to each other, and when they see how interested we are. Dr. Stone. Wow, Charlie, where have you been? Yeah, you're right. It's about time we got together. Well, I haven't been bowling in months. Tonight? Uh. Well, I'll tell you, Charlie, I, uh, don't think I'd better make it tonight. Uh, I've got homework. <laughs> you comfortable, dear? All set. Let's have war and peace. All right. Here we are. Oh, no, this is the forward. Oh. It's exactly the same thing. I'll go tonight. Sure, I hate to get up in front of all those people and expose my ignorance. Sweetheart, I, I know I haven't been too helpful. 
I've been critical. Well, how would you like me to go with you tonight? Oh, honey, would you? Sure. Then you can have a companion in ignorance. <laughs> As I remarked at our last meeting, I regret to see the way that our attendance has been falling off. However, those of us who are left will carry on with our backs to the wall. I'm pleased to welcome to our midst this evening two new members, Dr. and Mrs. Stone. Oh, I'm just a spectator myself. I hope you don't mind. Oh, not at all. We're pleased to have another chair filled. I'm sure the doctor will have much to contribute. Is the scene in which Audrey Hepburn and Mel Ferrer are seated together... <laughs> I, uh, I meant to say, oh, you know, the scene that I liked best in the picture was when Audrey Hepburn got married to that darling man. Mel Blair was just perfect as a prince. Oh, I thought Henry Fonda was oh, marvelous. I saw and him. Oh, 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 Is there anything anyone else would like to say about war and peace? Um, how many here play bridge? <laughs> Well, it's just enough for two tables. Uh, George, let's get up on the table. Let's get up. 